Hi guys, it's me, Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's a little haul. I am currently trying to prove to myself that I can refrain from buying so much. So I gave myself a budget and so far I've stuck to it. So this is going to be a smaller haul, um, but let's just jump right in. And there's not going to be too many categories because there's not enough really to have a category. So, first of all, I found this, and this was a wish list item, so that made my day. I found the bee tote bag. It says, save the bees, protect the hive. It has a black handle. It is by Juncture. And then look what they did on the side. How unique is that? Like, that is so unique. And it's got a decent wide bottom, so. But I have been looking for these and I never did find them. And just so happened I went to a store today and ta-da! So that made me really happy. All right. Now, this is going to be like a toy slash baby um, category. First of all, I found another one of these Disney ducks. And look, it's Ariel. <laughs> look at his little seashell bra. Look at his little tail. How cute is that? Uh, this is definitely going in my Christmas bin. I know a little girl that is going to love this come Christmas. But how cute is that? Would you quit terrorizing the cat, please? So, and if you see my last haul, I was able to find Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. So, at this store, they just had Ariel left. So, I grabbed her. And then, um... I found a puzzle, but it's a twofer. There's a total of 480 pieces, but they are two puzzles of 240 pieces a piece each. You know what I'm saying. So look how amazing this is. This screams summer. You have like the Volkswagen van, van, not ban. And then you have these lovely pineapples. So, um, I actually bought these because we are going on a weekend getaway at um, Jellystone. Um, it is a place that my kids love to go. And I always like to take games and stuff like this um, for... My son is singing in the bathroom. And it keeps throwing my concentration off. But anyway, um, I like to keep stuff like this in case it rains and we have to stay inside our cabin. So, this way there's two of them. Um, we can work on one all together or we can split into groups and work on one. Maybe make it a little competition because my kids are pretty competitive. But my daughter is really into these. She loves them. So, and... Two for a dollar. 50 cent puzzles. Yes. Absolutely. And then I found another onesie. But look at this one. It has this precious, like, dragon dinosaur. I want to say dinosaur, but it looks like it's breathing fire. So. I guess whichever one you want to call it. And this one is in the stage one, which is the four to six. And I do know that they have a newborn size, and then they have a size above this, too, that is a stage two. But I don't remember the months. But I bought this for my nephew. So, Kira. Damn it. Right? Next, I have another wish list, which is kind of crazy because it is not even for me. It's for my dogs. But it is these Evolved Oven Bake Dog Biscuits. They are peanut butter and berry flavor latte biscuits. 
Um, they are distributed by Sunshine Mills. And they're just a natural dog treat. And I've been looking for these since way before Christmas. And none of my stores, and there's six or seven of them, have had these. And I went to two different stores today, and they had them. So I bought one in one store and one in the other just because. So, but they are latte shaped. Let me open these up to show you. I'll give my dog some. We'll let them taste test. But look, they're shaped like little lattes. How cute is that? It's precious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. You want a cookie? Boys, cookie? Yeah, you want a cookie? Okay, okay. Good boy. Moose, 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 cookie, moose, cookie, moose, come here. Come here, come here, right here. Oh, yeah. All right, no more, Dean. Down. Down. Now Harley's turn. There you go, Harley. All right, go lay down. That's my cat, by the way. Gibbs, you're in the picture. They approve. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Lay down. Gibbs, honey. Thank you. Okay, now that that is over. Yeah, they liked them. And apparently my cat liked the scent. So. All right. Next is makeup. And there are some wish list items in that. Go lay down. No, you're not getting no more. No. Mm -mm. Go lay down. Go. All right. Like I was saying, several wish list items in here. So. First is this Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee Contouring Palette. Wet n Wild. This is big too, like look. But it shows you on the back how to apply it. So. I was really excited to find this. This was on my wish list. And this was the only color they had. Shade. Whatever you want to call it. So. And again, it is in the color Caramel Toffee. So. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. Tutorial. Included. But. Yes. Next, another wish list item. And I have been looking for this for a little while too. Um, this is the Hard Candy Fox in a Box. Highlighter. And it is in the scent Pine, or Pina Colada, which... I didn't smell it in the store. Hmm. I can't really smell anything. But, yes, hard candy. And this was a major wish list item. Super excited. And you do get a little applicating brush down here. So that's cool. So. I was looking to see if it gave you like a shade. But I don't see one. So. But. It just says. Glamour Girl Marbleized Baked Highlighter. See. So. I was super excited about that. Um, the little things in life. I found a, another Hard Candy 12-Hour Illuminating Setting Spray. This is with a luminous pearl finish. It is the, the Glow. And this is a 2.2 fluid ounce bottle. I don't remember which one I hauled before, but it was the blue. 
lid. And I love it. I, I put on my face cream and stuff because, you know, I'm old. And then I put on my um, primer. And then I go ahead and spray with set and spray one good time. And then I do my makeup. And then I just put it on again. And I found that's the best way to get the maximum results. So, if you want to try that, there's a tip for you. But, again, this is hard candy. And this stuff is not a dollar anywhere else. Then I found this Secret Freshies on the Go in Rose. Is it an invisible solid? It says immediately fights odor. It is an antiperspirant. But it is in this cool little ball shape. And I picked this up um, for my daughter to put in her basketball bag because she likes to keep deodorant in there. So, you know, when she goes to change into her um, conditioning clothes, she can put some more deodorant on before just to help. So, this is not a dollar, again, at anywhere else. This is a good five or six dollars anywhere else. So, you find these, snatch it up. Maybe snatch two up. I just got the one. And this was the only scent they had. So, and then there's the scent Rose. So, there's that. And then this next item is also a wish list item. Um, it is the by Bior, which is, again, a name brand. So, everything in my makeup Health and Beauty, we'll say, has been named brand for a dollar. But it is this Bior Face um, Mask Kit. Anyway, I went blank there for a second. It says, step one is charcoal, self-heating, one-minute mask. Do what now? Purifies pores in one minute. It says, heats up, melts away dirt and oil, leaving skin tingly smooth. And then the second step is charcoal deep cleansing pore strip. Um, it draws out excess oil and deep down impurities. Instantly unclogs pores by removing dirt, oil, and even blackheads. So you do this first, and then you do this one. So, and I'm a big fan of the Bior products. Um, while several, several, several hauls ago, I hauled um, a little bottle of Bior um, makeup remover, like face cleanser. And I loved that stuff. I bought like five bottles. So... It is a great value for this. I might actually use this when I get done filming because it is technically bedtime. Oh, side note. Look, I finished my um, tear tray. It is in honor of Memorial Day. And I may leave it up till the 4th of July. I don't know. It depends on if I find anything really good to put in it for summer. So, all right. Next up is stationery. And crafting, but only because there's just two items. I found this awesome notebook. You get 60 sheets and it is by Jot. But look how gorgeous this is. I love this. It has a little strap. And it is just lined sheets. And I bought this to write down um, hymns. That was the word I was looking for. Uh, my son leads songs, um, one song every service. So twice a week. Um, and when we go back to 
afternoon services. It'll be three times a week. He leads one song. And I write down the songs that he likes. And this, I can, we can keep up with them. I um, also write down songs that my daughter likes and that my husband likes. Um, just because you never know. And I have another one that is from, um, it is also about Jot. It is a green spiral one. But my son took it upon himself to draw all in it. And it irritates me every time I look at it. And this will just go with my Bible case so well. Because it has flowers on it. And there was, I found four different options of this. And this is the one that just really caught my eye. So. Then. In Crafter Square, I found these paper crafts stickers. They're pop-ups, and you get 10 of them. But, y'all, look at this. Like, look at the details in these trucks. And the flowers, and they do, they are a pop-up. See? And these are going to be great for junk journaling or um, your planners. I love to put stickers in my planners. It just helps me, you know, if I see a sticker, I'm going to read and pay attention to that particular day. Um, like for my son's football, I'll put like a football sticker and then I'll put football practice, you know, whatever time it is. Daughter's basketball, I do the same thing. And I also color co coordinated um, practices and games. That way, you know, because we've got a lot going on. If you are a sports mom or just a mom of multiple children, you understand. It gets hectic. And I, I love my planner. And guys, I bought a really expensive planner a while back. Like, it was super expensive. And it was great. Don't get me wrong. But I bought mine from Walmart this year for like 10 bucks, If that. Like, I don't even think it was 10 bucks, And it is way better than the other one I bought. And when I say it was a lot, it was like 40 bucks, guys. And that was on sale. So, if you want a planner, go to your local Walmart. They will hook you right up. But anyway, back to this. So, I am torn. I don't know if I want to use this for my planner or if I want to use this for like a fall craft. Because these scream fall to me for some reason. I, I don't know. It, I just do. I don't know. Comment down below what y'all think I should do with these. Help a girl out. And this one's really neat. It says today is the day. But the, today is flat. And then is the day is on a lifted sunflower. That's neat. That would look cute in my planner. So. Alright. I have one food item. And I'm not going to lie, I bought two of these because I wanted to one to show y'all, <clears throat> but I wanted to eat the other one. So, me and my daughter and her friend ate almost this whole bag. But, it is the Forbes Creamsicle Taffy. And I have been looking for these because they have the watermelon all the time. And the watermelon is great. Do not get me wrong. But I saw someone haul this a few months back and I was like, ooh creamsicle and y'all these are phenomenal they are just chewy enough mm -mm, i love them so and this is best by for 2022 <clears throat> and it is forbes candies inc virginia beach virginia and they are so good mm. but they didn't have the watermelon, so I don't know. And I've never seen these in any of my stores before, because trust me, I would have bought them. All right. <clears throat> and last in this haul is a repurchase. But I bought three of these seven-quart drain pans. By Driver's Choice. 
It is a product of Greenbrier, and you have the pore spout. But I bought, I hauled one in my last haul, and my husband was super excited to get it. But then um, our friend came over who works with the lawnmowers with him. Um, they they go in and fix them and stuff together just to give them something to do. It's their hobby. But anyway, I showed him, and he was like, Mo, which, by the way, they call me Mo. He said, Mo, you should have bought more. So I told him, I said, if I go back and they have them, I'll buy more. And luckily they did, and I just bought three more. That way they have an even four, plus on top of the ones that we've bought in the past, not from Dollar Tree. But guys, if you want to change your oil, these are great. Um, like I said, he uses them to change oils in the lawnmowers that he buys to fix up and resell because, again, he doesn't know when the last time the oil was changed in any of these. So he just changes all of them. So, with that being said, guys, that is my haul. That's all I bought. That's it. So, I don't know. And I found a lot of goodies. I'm super excited about my little haul. There's a lot of goodies in here. But with that being said, I hope everyone has a wonderful week and everyone stays safe. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you already are a subscriber, let me take a moment to say thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. I and I love all the support and um if you want to see some daily um, pictures and things I make or things I buy or things I see in the store that I don't buy because I don't need but feel like one of y'all will need, I post Monday through Friday on Instagram at Cozy with Morgan 2. Not the Cozy with Morgan one because that one got hacked and it was a whole thing, so I just created another one. It is Cozy with Morgan 2. Okay. Um, so go ahead and follow me on there. I, like I said, I post Monday through Friday most of the time. And with that being said, everyone, I will see you at my next Dollar Tree haul. Bye.